So I'm going to go straight into opening a sample project. It's available under C++ or Object Pascal. And under the database section, FireDAC samples, there's under the DBMS specific, uh, there's an interface, change view, and we're going to have a look at the generic one. And we had a look at the pharmacy example in a previous skill sprint. So let's have a look at the generic one here, which uses events as well as change views. And in here we can see that uh, we have a button to open the database. We have the original data and then we can see the, the change view data and then the merge data here. So here we've got this uh, option to, well, we need to go read the readme, uh, which should tell us about setting this up. So I'm just going to right click on the form, show in Explorer just to quickly get to the folder. Uh, and the readme uh, basically tells me to go create the, the database. So I'm just going to go and copy all the code in here, or the metadata code, and uh, just down here through IB Console, I'm just going to, let's just go database, um, create database, and here I'm going to call this sub.ib, I'm just going to create it in a slightly different location to what's suggested because I have a, a data folder. Everything else we can just leave the same. And uh, here, master key. Now I'm just going to hit the SQL window, paste everything in, and I just need to actually tell this it's going to be a right transaction and execute. And that's it, job done. So I should now have a database with a table with a couple of records in here. There we are, some records. There's some triggers. So here we are, we've got some triggers that are running as well. Um, so that's all good, everything's in place. Um, and these are posting the event tab. So great. So we now have our database sorted. Let's have a look at the components here. We've got this FD connection, which is our original connection to the database. Uh, and in here we have a query, which is going to be fetching back the data. Um, now I have been in and I have updated already the, um, the parameters on this database connection to point to where my database is. So we've got our query. Um, which we're then going to be feeding into this um, T grid, T D B grid. Uh, we then have an additional query connecting back to the same database that is going to be running exactly the same query, um, which um, the connection is set at runtime. Uh, and that query is going to be managed here by this uh, alert eventer. So we can see here there's this change alerter which is connected to the query. So every time this makes an alert, it's going to automatically refresh the query. Now, the great thing about this change alerter is that we're able to set this to be a merge delta. So it's going to be merging just the delta. Um, we're able to uh, basically just tell it the subscription that it's running is called sub and that was set up in the script earlier. So okay, let's just jump back to that folder. And if we have a look down this, we can see here's the table, here's the uh, ID generator, here's the posting of the events, and then here we've got a subscription called sub, which is on table tab for insert updates and deletes. So that's the subscription that we're connecting to. And that is all we need to do. That will then work with that subscription to fetch the changes to the queries that are connected to it. Uh, and then that will then update here with the merged data. So let's go ahead and see that running. So let's open the database connection. And we see here's our original connection, here's our second connection, which has got the event alerter on it. And if our original connection goes and makes a change, 
we can see that we've got highlighted in bold here the Delta merge showing specifically that something has changed on the server. We had notification for it and it's updated what we're, we're working with here. So let's go ahead and make some changes directly into the database. So I'm going to just move IB console across here a little bit. Maybe I've got caps on. There we are. And into our database table. We can see those changes here. So let's go ahead and change that back. Now, I've not committed here yet. I'm in a state of limbo. So I'm just going to go ahead and change a couple of records here. And at the point I hit commit now, um, you can see the event alerter here is being notified from the interface database server of changes and has updated the data. So that's great. This is much better cleaner data than the original database connection without an event and without the subscriptions running. Um, the other things we can do is we can go ahead maybe and add a record. So let's put DDD in here and we can change this back to BBB. And we can see now that this is showing that there's been some changes made to this record, but the changes aren't picking up any changes from the original data that we fetched um, because they're not um, they're not changed now. They're just they've been changed, they've been changed back, but they have been modified. So you do want to have notification that there's been some activity on that record. Um, but we can also see that we're able to highlight here we're using purple, just picking up on the the definitions of the data that that's been an inserted record. So very, very flexible and, and capable of doing a whole load of things. And in fact, if we go ahead and reopen the, the database connection here, I might just need to I just need to rerun that one. There we are. There's the uh, basically the code hasn't got a close and reopen, which is was leaving the handle open. And it wasn't refreshing it, so just closing and reopening will sort that out. If I just go ahead now and delete this record, and let's commit and refresh, you can see we can also pick up deleted records. Um, so that's very possible with a, a change view um, to pick up, and then here we can now see the the merge data. Um, the other thing that we can do if we go ahead and Let's put in uh, another record again. In fact, let's put in a couple of uh, records. If we do the merge data, we can now actually see what the merge data looks like consolidated. And if we go ahead and delete one of these, oh, let me just commit and refresh. We can see that's now removed and we can now see what the consolidated data view looks like. So it's possible to actually see what's changed and also output only what is live if you so wish. Um, so a whole host of flexibility in terms of your displaying of the data to the end user, notifying them that stuff has been changed elsewhere. Um, you know That's really important if you had say stock prices that are updating and you had one user update the stock price and the fact that you could show it to another user that it's been updated is important. Um, but also if you've had a if you just want to see what the current pricing is then you could just use the consolidated view if you want to see inserted and deleted then yeah all there so that pretty much is it in a nutshell I do want to however just finish off having a look at some of the the code underneath here because there isn't a huge amount um, originally we're just setting the the database active um, there's some uh, stuff that's actually not relevant to the change views but here but um, just setting the, the provider flags for allowing editing um, loading the original parameters into the second database and connecting that and then just setting the two query setting the second query active and setting the event alerter active and that's literally it um, under the merge data here uh, we're able to just merge the data set and taking the query changes and doing a delta merge um, and 
that is uh, you know that is literally it. Um, so using the the merge data set facility on Firedac, we're able to very quickly and easily insert, update, and delete the records um, that have had changes made to them. So very very powerful. And there's also an option here showing how to use a, a memory stream uh, option if you so wish to.